It's a rather weak opening hand. Of course, we can improve it with two cards. Yeah. I think we need to kick the Dwarven Skirmisher. Really weak. It's gonna be hard to win. See ya, love. You were about to tell your story from band camp. Well, you can still tell it. I'm all ears. This guy's probably gonna destroy me, so I'm gonna need a comforting story. Ah, they used tire my tongue about that. Yeah, kill some neckers. Sure, no problem. I guess we're just gonna play the value generator. We only got one. No King of Beggars. No Hawker Smuggler. No Pafko Gale. No Gobber Zigren. Frippin' nothing. We do have one Dwarven Merc. What if that is worth? <clears throat> Double I just take one out. It's not suitable for younger audiences. <laughs> I do appreciate you considering that. I'm not sure what to go with. We want to play the Mahakam Guards later, we want to play the Marauder possibly next turn. This we want to play later. We kind of like playing this early, but there's nothing to play it on. And we want to play this late, again. Also, we kind of want to use it on a different target. But I guess we're just gonna go and... Yeah, I'll just buff Barclay. Yeah, that's fine. This a little bit defends us from the Manticore. Ugh, not a lot. I did try to build a deck. I wouldn't say it's a similar deck. My deck was less refined. Honestly, my deck was less refined than his. I believe. But I didn't have Witchers in it. I have the Crones in it. I kind of like the idea of it. But, uh... I, well, I need to work on it. Uh, that's for sure. And he's not using his tactical advantage. Does he have information on me? Lady Folk. <laughs> well, we rarely see the uh, dwarven women in fights. Look at this. We only got dudes. Where are the women? And we're led by some pretty boy elf guy. Fucking disgrace. Uh, 
got a hearty hankering for Gwent. Hmm. I'm not sure about his win condition. Are you guys? Do you guys know what deck he's playing for sure, or just a good guess? Not sure. Just a good guess. That's that's good enough. Uh, yeah, we can put it anywhere. I'm a dwarf for business. Okay, never mind that. Stitches get stitches. Wait, I can put it anywhere because <clears throat> we don't have that much damage anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to hit the Archispore. I'll just finish that off. Uh oh. So we can play Barkley in the back, followed up by a bunch of Mohakam guards. Or just. Do the Mohakam guards right now, then play Barkley later. Eh, doesn't matter too much how we do it. Gather move on, lads. Look alive. Mm, hit the Cyclops. <clears throat> he really wants to win round one, and I'm. And he doesn't have, like, really strong units to do it with. So how many dwarves are on the board? So much that I can play this for 14. 14 points! Which is crazy. It's not quite good enough, but it's really strong. So I should be able to take this uh, round. That's why I have, obviously, Zolt and Chiva in the deck, because in a long round, he's very strong. Where's Groover? He's fake. He's not the real leader. Fourteen still doesn't do it. We have to go with Mahakam Garfield. And just hope that he is somehow Underestimating my last card. Or <laughs> hoping that his last card is not like godlike. Really? Well, I have to play because I have guys on the board, and this is not gonna be extremely valuable later. But that's only five points. Maybe we can somehow force a round two victory. It's gonna be hard. That's bad. These are not the cards to win round two with. That's extremely limiting. This is all about just go to round three and try to do something fun. These are not useful. Damn. I hate this. We don't have a choice. We have to go to round three. Elf boy is just two dwarves standing on each other's shoulders and wearing a dress. <laughs> That's why we don't see his face. Yeah, I was really not happy about that. Oh my god. Value generators! Last round, it's a medium length last round, but still not great. It helps. I don't know if I want more value generators. I 
think I have quite enough. Do we keep this six? Actually, I don't have that many dwarves. I only have one now. I can chance it. Okay, this is... I don't know if this is as good as it gets. I would have loved to have these cards earlier. Yeah, we're just gonna... Oh, actually, I should have played King of Beggars first. We need to buff... Oh my fucking god. I hate that. I hate that. This is just a stupid card. And now he's gonna Cyclops and blow it up. The semblance of power don't interest me. He does have another Cyclops. He's gonna okay, he's gonna wait one turn, then he's gonna Cyclops it. I never mind that. Immune is not gonna save me. <clears throat> now is the time of the white frost and white night. <sighs> Cyclops time. Hope you have something that interacts with me. <laughs> but, was it good enough? No. 14? Fuck, it's a tie. What, what the hell, mate? Are you feeling a bit hungry? This is bullshit. I'm sick of your cheese on Sinaldir. Oh, never mind that. That's a victory. Uh, thanks for the 1-up, Gabor. That helped. I mean, you need just fine. GG. Not like, yeah. We couldn't have achieved anything, anyway. But... That was good. It was very satisfying to finally beat him after the last uh, crushing defeat. GG. But once you start playing more, you, you really come to realize that people are actually just playing uh, the meta decks. We did run into a lot of big monsters. Ice is kinda out there. Crack is out there. Players are experimenting somewhat. Uh, but there are definitely the popular meta decks. It's not too bad. But it's noticeable. Let's see if we can manage to do better this time. You're really proud of your drowners in your big boys deck. You're a professional! So... Alright, let's just go with the Dwarven Merc. Unpopular opinion, MTG Arena is more fun to play. My main criticism with Magic is not the gameplay. It's it's that it just costs so much that the gameplay sometimes just doesn't even bloody matter. Ah, they use tire. 
learn my tongue about that. Not proud of my drowner. I just think you underrate them. Movement and thrive together. I tried drowner. Yeah. I'm still not sold, okay? I see the upsides. But... I'm not gonna change my deck right now. Might change it in the future. Arena is pretty good. I get tilted hard at Mana Screw though. Yeah. The only deck I, I'm really happy to play, less annoyed to play, is the one that doesn't have that much mana in it, has a has mana search, and it's just an aggro deck. When it when it comes to just relying pure RN, or relying on pure RNG to, to get your mana. No, I don't think so. That that can hurt. Uh, let's go with Gabriel again. <laughs> I just hate when I lose Gwent and an an empty Jerry and I can blame RNG <laughs> draw all lands. <laughs> That's perfect! You're right. That's why we need to play MTG Arena. We can just blame the game. That Yeah, that's right. That's why we need RNG. If you win, it's skill. It's you. But if you lose, fuck RNG. Trash game. Go next. I honestly feel less triggered when I clam Barina compared to Gwent. It's just easier to let go. Hmm. I'm not overly concerned with either. You play Mila in Magic Arena, but you get completely annihilated by aggro decks. Because that's what I played. I played aggro and I only lost, well, only reliably lost to heavy control decks. Just like spam, spam all clear, all day. Those are the decks that I lost to. Everybody else got his face bashed in by round 5. Or round 6. Sometimes around three or four, but that was rare. In Magic Arena, I play white black vampires. Nice early curve and can grind out the long game. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? I we'll just play some dwarves. Can dwarves fight? Dwarves can fight. <clears throat> you have to admit that current ladder isn't well done in Gwent. Oh yeah, I will admit it. Grant always had terrible ladder. We've left in isolation for two I don't know the long. current version of the ladder, how bad it is. It it's not terribly enticing. But they they combined the pro ladder and the regular ladder. Um, I suppose I just don't care about it that much at this point, but I'm not a fan of it. The only Hearthstone deck I played was the Mage Girl starter one, then I realized I was too poor to climb the Hearthstone ladder. <laughs> Have you tried throwing your wallet at the screen? Have you tried playing the credit card? Hearthstone is far too expensive, but it's a really good game. In Hearthstone you can play Arena. Arena allows you to, if you're good, to keep playing Arena. Especially with the quests. That is honestly the only reason 
I stuck with Gwent. Because I could play Gwent in an equal environment. I was just, well, okay. Equal opportunity. Now, we didn't always have the equal decks, never had, but we could all have good decks, so that was fair enough. And was a good way to actually earn packs. So, that was great. I like that. Magic Arena doesn't have that. Because when you play that draft mode, the trash you draft is actually put in your collection. And because of that, the cost of draft mode is like stupidly high instead of like dirt cheap. It's, in, in Hearthstone, it's not dirt cheap. Because you also pay a pack. But... It is, it is not restrictively expensive, so it's okay. But in but in in the in the Magic Arena, it's not gonna happen because basically the purpose of playing draft mode is to get cards for normal mode, and and I don't believe you can do so well that you can just infinite draft mode. At least I didn't manage to do that. Hearthstone Arena is really good. They actually balance it also. Look, I love current Hearthstone. Or what? <laughs> That's not, not Hearthstone. Homecoming. However, I have no intention to go pro. Seems like competitive home pro players got penalized the most. I think that, like, that this is a, a thing in most games, is that they really want to encourage you to compete. Because when players get to the point where they committed to the game more, like, they're just gonna stick with the game more. They, they don't want casual scoops. Yeah, I think I gotta push this. Anyway, let's go with that. Just to get full collection, each expansion is about 200 bucks for a lot of grind. It's just not worth it in my experience. I I just I just play arena. I have like I have a lot of dust. I have. 12,000 gold. I don't even use it. Just use it to play arena. That's that's what I do. I don't play ranked because... I, I had that experience. I played ranked a lot. And uh, they just didn't release cards fast enough. And the meta didn't change fast enough to stay interesting. So... I'm 42 years old, my wife and my son play Gwen too. We have hooked already. We are hooked already, but this letter system sucks for people like myself. Okay, let's play this. But it's it's very important that in Gwen that it's it's a game that you can actually recommend to people. Because Okay, it's not like a totally free game. It still has the progression in it. It's, but when it really comes down to it, this is a game that I can recommend to people. I can't recommend Hearthstone. Even if I enjoy Hearthstone myself, I wouldn't recommend that to people. I wouldn't recommend MTG Arena. Because... Can, can you really have fun in it if you're not paying? The ladder system does suck, so... I'm not sure if they're gonna do anything about that. Won't pay us in gold, pay us in blood. Oh no! This is so bad. Even worse than I thought. Yeah, we gotta pass. 
You gotta pass. I can play Zolt and Chivai. Old Van Noon Pro Ladder was so much better. I preferred that as well. That's the one I played. And I didn't care about Pro Ladder. I didn't care about Casual that much. I just I just played everything on the ladder, usually. I, I usually just goofed around in the Pro Ladder. And, and Lude when uh, the pros uh, fought, fought me. We don't want that. We don't want this. <clears throat> hey, listen here. I've spent listen quite a, a buck on this game on free accounts. My only complaint at the moment, given the circumstances, is the stupid ladder system. What ladder system would you prefer? Did you did you like the previous uh, ranked ladder? I felt like that was was faulty because for the most of the climb, uh, most of the climb didn't matter. It was just a chore. You you it was just a chore to climb up, and I didn't like it. And once you get to the point where where games really mattered, once you were like rank 1 uh, then it became a good experience but because of the MMR reset every month or every two months, every month it was uh, really hard to keep up with so I didn't like it so the old rank ladder wasn't great pro ladder wasn't great, casual the thing is I want challenge and I and I'm not a dumbass, so I don't really forget how to play the game in every month. So it would be nice if I could just stay on the level I'm at, unless I prove to be uh, less skilled or more skilled than that. Then just like, just just keep me there, okay? That's it. That that would be my ideal ladder system, I suppose. <clears throat> Not saying it was perfect, but compared to this. Okay, do we blow that up? Do I play this? Oh man. I don't think he's gonna play in the first row. So most likely Zolt and Chivai will not have a target. But I gotta play on the melee row. Damn the horse because he can only target like a one or two, depending on uh, how late we're gonna play him. <clears throat> we'll go at him together! <laughs> Does he have something to something big? He wants to play last? I really hope he does. Well, it doesn't need to be that big. Ooh. That's actually really bad. Because he's spreading the strength he has. Alright. Good job. We managed to tie against the crack. That was tough. GG!